a bit of an unusual one today, I'm going to talk about the positives of drug addiction. And maybe it's not specifically drug addiction, but alcohol addiction, uh, gambling addiction, pornography addiction, but addiction in general. Full disclosure, um, around 2008 I was admitted into drug rehabilitation therapy for a multitude of addictive personality traits, substance abuse and alcohol abuse. And at that point in my life I was relatively successful. I was running um, some successful businesses um, for other people. I was in the corporate world uh, and they hadn't really noticed my slide into um, addiction and they didn't care because I was performing pretty well anyway. So um, it did come as a surprise to a lot of people. Now when you um, think about how it affects you, I, I want to talk about taking those traits that are seen as undesirable and damaging to your life and turning them into something else. And I found that once I'd actually gone through rehabilitation, and to be fair, they're not very supportive with how they think you're gonna do, and they tell you like 99% of people fail when they come out of rehabilitation. I, I've stuck with it now um, the, whole, the whole time. Um, I have had a few relapses almost immediately after, but um, I, I, I hear that's fairly usual, and I've, I've stuck with it now. I've been clean well over three years. So, um, what I did is I changed my addictive personality to monetize it. <laughs> and I started to find ways of using that obsessive nature and the, the search for something exciting for um, a good gain. And what I did was, um, when I started my own business, I found that the, the addiction personality traits were actually very, very, very good for me and it's a case of not denying that trait and everything that makes it bad for normal society you know that you, you are singly focused you chase something and you'll do anything to get it once you can change that into a, um, a profitable enterprise it actually becomes quite good so once you get over the challenge of staying sober you need to occupy yourself with things and occupying myself with business was the way to m make real changes in my life um, and it actually become a very very positive and very strong thing um, and even even now sort of I have to notice that that it isn't great to be on all the time so I need to stop working sometimes because I really get drawn into it but it's changing the character traits towards that that kind of monetary thing and i find that small tasks that, that pay pay money like 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 micro tasks like um click working tasks are um great for your spare time so in in the time where you'd be you know oh, i'm bored tonight i want to go and have a drink i want to go and do drugs or whatever you can actually set yourself these little tasks to do um, using maybe Amazon's MTurk platform, which I'll put a link for there, um, or Clickworker, which I'll put a link for there. Um, and these little micro tasks, I think that if I found out about them straight away after coming out of um, rehabilitation, they would have been really, really good for me. I became obsessed with these, li these little tasks that made finite amounts of money. I'd also like to talk, if you're in a creative industry, you should check out Slice the Pie is here doesn't pay very much but it's it's constant a constant stream of revenue so I would I, I actually think of these kind of small jobs as a kind of rehabilitation for yourself is distracting yourself with these little jobs and ironically I found them through the reddit thread which is beer money <laughs> so um, don't go and spend the money that you make on beer you have to promise me that but keep yourself busy with these little tasks and see how it works. You know, let me know if you find any more. You know, link 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 me through to them. But um, I wish that I'd found out about this sooner. And I, I keep myself very busy working on it. You know, it's photo moderation. It's reviewing songs. It's filling out surveys and questionnaires. It's 
checking links and checking websites. It's, re it's reasonably banal stuff. It's quite fun to do. And I do it in my downtime away from my other two jobs. And I think it was that thing that I was searching for to get over the boredom of not going out down the pub and not, you know, doing other things I used to do. Um, so at the moment it's become a very, very good therapy for me and actually quite profitable. I made like, it's not massive amounts, I made like $50 today or something just in my spare time clicking through a few things and uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. Therapy through commerce. Uh, any questions, please write them in the bottom and I'd like you to please subscribe and follow and uh, let me know how you're getting on with things. Thanks.